let's talk about the problem with thought leadership. But first, uh, all too often thought leadership is a problematic term that creates so much confusion in the world in terms of what we're trying to do for and with our audiences. And I've really asked myself this question, why? Because if we consult Webster and we look at these words, thought, leader, thought, leader, thought, leader, it kind of sounds nice and just in its purest form, it's a leader of thoughts. What could possibly be the problem with that? Here's the first problem. Thought leadership gone wrong is all about anointing yourself as a thought leader. Hey, I deserve the crown, I deserve the trophy, and I'm gonna crown myself the winner of this beauty pageant. Thought leadership is not something you bestow upon yourself. It's not a label that you use in your bio, but it's something that you earn as a result of the transformation that you're creating with your audience and your industry. And it's a reflection back to you that you're not just creating noise, but you're truly changing the conversation. Secondly, the problem is thought with thought leadership is that we've been told that we can just force our ideas out into the world and create change because it's all about us, our unique concept, what we have to offer, me, me, me. Instead of looking out there and saying, what is the conversation that's come before me? Where am I called to add to it and join the conversation as part of a collective with multiple voices working to change or shift the direction of, of an industry and create lasting conversation. I could go on and on and on about the problems with thought leadership because you may have a million ideas about what's wrong with it. I encourage you to let me know like how it's rubbed you the wrong way or what you think is wrong with it because my friends, we need to change the conversation around thought leadership. So, Here's why I think we should re resurrect the term and actually use it. One of the things that I've noticed is that with authors and speakers, those terms describe what we do in the world. We publish books, we stand on stages, and these are wonderful and very, very important mediums and mechanisms by which we impact our audience. But using the terms author, speaker doesn't capture the deep, deeper motivation that you feel when you can't not share your message, not because it's about you, but because you know you have the missing piece that will shift the conversation forward in a new way, not just thinking leader, but into real action and results. And we need to call out that deeper motivation because if it's just about you and the awards that you win or the praise that you're hoping to receive, which none of that, there's nothing wrong with that. We're human beings and we need that feedback and validation. But if it's in service to a bigger call about changing the conversation, about joining your audience, listening to them and re sharing your unique and sophisticated message in a way that only you can, in a way that will help shift the trajectory of your industry, that my friends is thought leadership. And I humbly propose that we don't throw out the term altogether. We just throw out the baggage, the misunderstanding and the influencer culture influence on what this term really means and what it allows us to do. So cheers to my thought leaders out there and to the work that you're doing to truly change the conversation.